risk of comparing myself to anyone on the wall I'm going to move forward with a self-portrait um, had always planned on throwing myself on the wall not as any sort of comparison just uh, for fun I, I haven't painted a self-portrait in years um, it's been so long and I've never done it with spray paint so had the idea and uh, want to make it happen so going to pick my palette right now got my colors right here and I think I'm going to do it in like full purple so like monotone monochromatic full purple and it will definitely I think it will definitely stand out I think it will be a little bit more subtle too so it's not the main focus um, but yeah gonna grab all these colors and then head out to the wall out to the time chamber.
I think I got the face to a good point. Definitely took me a while to kind of settle in. When you work in grayscale, you kind of have the palette already mapped out. So there's like six Montana stops and same with the, the gold. So there's 94 in gold. And I know in my, like I've painted so many portraits at this point that I know kind of what the, the names are of each color from light to dark, from black to white. I had to figure that out on the fly with the purple so like spraying a little bit trying to get like the mid-tone trying to get the lightest and then the darkest um, just figuring that all out so it took me a while to kind of settle in but um, I mean I'm satisfied with it definitely a weird experience painting your face uh, I don't know how some artists like paint like their face consistently I don't know that's crazy I might go with some yellow because the purple is so strong right here the yellow will kind of just bounce off that and make both of them sing a little bit more might push the purple back a little bit but that's cool because I don't want my face to be the primary point of focus anyways um, so yeah I'm gonna gonna take some notes got to decide what I'm gonna do between Dave and Cole and between Lauren um, but that's the fun stuff you know once you get everything like rendered out then you can just come back and have some fun make everything cohesive and uh, play with some colors I decided to add piccolo to the wall behind my face for a couple reasons if you haven't seen any of the previous videos we call this space the hyperbolic time chamber and it's a space that we go to train to improve and to get better and um, it's a, a space from Dragon Ball Z so piccolo being from Dragon Ball Z and being a character that I feel like I relate with was an easy addition easy decision to go behind my face in that section and the green pairs with the purple and the yellow along with that so easy decision harmonious in a lot of ways and I'm happy with the way that it turned out and as you can see we also moved on to Will Smith from Fresh Prince and we have some other portraits in the works as well so stay tuned for those and uh, yeah probably call it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you're new to the channel like comment subscribe all that good stuff um, really helps out the channel helps the uh, YouTube like push it to more people and um, so we can grow this thing but my name is Noah and this channel is all about improvement and creativity so if that's something you're interested in subscribe and um, see you in the next one peace Try